an animation is really made up of a series of images. These images, referred to as frames, are then played in rapid succession, creating the illusion of movement. Let's go ahead and learn how to create one in Flash. I've got a new Flash document open, and let's first take a look at the timeline. Here, you see a blank keyframe represented by this empty circle inside a box. In Flash, you'll need a keyframe to be able to draw on the stage. Whenever you start a new Flash document, you always have one blank keyframe by default. Now let's go ahead and draw a stick man on the stage. Select the brush tool, choose your desired color, size, and shape, and draw your stick man. Once you've drawn your stick man, let's add another blank keyframe right after the first one. Right click on the next empty box and choose insert blank keyframe. You'll see the stick man disappear. That's because we are now on the second frame of our animation. The stick man that we just made is on the first frame. So now we start drawing the second frame of our animation. Before we continue, let's activate the onion skin feature by clicking on this button right here. After you click on the button, you're going to see a lighter version of the stick man that you just drew appear on the stage. The onion skin feature allows you to see what's inside the other frames so that you can use it as a guide when you draw the rest of your animation. So the stick man that you see here is not actually on the second frame. So what we want to do here is draw over the stick man, but make some small changes in order to make our character appear as if it's moving. For this one, I'm simply going to raise one arm slightly higher to begin the waving action. And then we simply repeat the same process of adding a blank keyframe and changing the position of the stick man's arm to complete the animation. So now I've got six keyframes, but my animation isn't complete yet. I've only finished half of the needed frames. What I have here so far is the stick man moving his arm up. To complete the waving action, I now need to draw the frames that show the stick man moving his arm down. Basically, what I need to draw are the same frames I already have, except that I need to draw them in reverse. But instead of drawing the rest of the frames manually, I'm going to show you a neat little trick that will help us finish the animation faster. I'm first going to select all of the existing frames. I'm going to click on the first one, then I'll hold down the shift key on my keyboard, and I'll click on the last one in order to select the entire range. Now that I have all these frames selected, I'm going to right click on the selection and choose Copy Frames. Once the frames are copied, I'm going to right click on the next available empty box and I'll choose Paste Frames. And now that these new frames have been added, I'm going to need to reverse them so that the arm will move in the opposite direction. Make sure that the new frames are selected. Then right click on the selection and choose reverse frames. And now the animation is complete. If we scrub through the timeline by clicking and dragging the playhead, we'll see that the arm moves up until frame six and then moves down as we go through the next frames. In order to preview the animation, choose Control, Test Movie in Flash Professional. Or you can also press Command Return on a Mac or Control Enter on a PC. And there's the animation. You'll notice that the animation keeps running even though we only have 12 frames. That's because by default, a Flash animation is going to keep looping until you close the movie. So that's it, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please share it with your friends. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.